welcome you all to principles of organic synthesis so far we have studied carbon carbon bond formation of aliphatic substrates then we studied carbon nitrogen bond formation of aliphatic compounds following that we had three lectures on the aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions today we will start in the new topic aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction if you try to remember the aromatic electrophilic substitution where the benzene ring acts as a nucleophile if there is electrophile it can undergo additional elimination reaction you will end up with substituted compound if you remember when the aromatic ring reacts with the electrophile you will generate a carbocation intermediate that carbocation intermediate is stabilized by resonance or inductive effect if you have the substituent then you can end up with a that carbocation intermediate can lose a proton you can get the substituted compound aromatic nucleophilic substitution just opposite to that in aromatic nucleophilic substitution the aromatic system acts as electrophile it undergoes reaction with the nucleophile to give a carbon anion intermediate if you remember the electrophilic substitution where we had the carbocation intermediate here you have carbon ion intermediate this carbon ion intermediate used to be stabilized by resonance as well as inductive effect however if you look at the electron density of aromatic system is electron rich is generally inner to undergo reaction with the nucleophilic species because you can see here the pi electron of the aromatic system repels the incoming nucleophile and the leaving group would be a very basic hydride ion which is high energy species in normal conditions the reaction doesn't take place however if you have activated aromatic system the reaction can be facilitated those reaction can be classified into four groups the first one as you can see here we are going to see today the aromatic nucleophilic substitution where addition followed by elimination reaction is involved following that we will see the reaction of the substrate we can undergo elimination followed by addition to give the substitution product today we will try to cover these two reactions in addition to that we also will try to see the reaction that involves sn1 mechanism as well as the reaction that involves radical ion intermediate these two type of reactions we will study in the next two classes today we will try to cover the reaction of the aromatic compounds that have activating groups so that the substitution reaction can take place following that we will see some of the example for the substrate that does not have the activated substituent however under vigorous reaction conditions using strong base you can try to make a benzene that can further undergo reaction with nucleophile to give the substitution product here the first type of reaction shown and if you look at here this also if you remember the aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction it involves two steps first the benzene ring acts as a nucleophile it undergoes reaction with the electrophile by addition reaction we generate the carbocation intermediate as we have seen there here also if the aromatic system has electron withdrawing group and a leaving group usually halogen if you have this kind of substituent so this system can now undergo reaction with the nucleophile you can see here the nucleophile when you have the electron withdrawing group the nucleophile can undergo reaction para position so you can have this carbon ion intermediate 
once if you have this carbon ion intermediate which can be stabilized by resonance structure as you can see here and this is the most stable intermediate if you remember here you have the negative charge which is next to the electron withdrawing group the carbon wherever you have the negative charge is bonded with the electron withdrawing group therefore this negative charge can be stabilized by the electron withdrawing group so whenever the substitution takes place at the para position or ortho position you will have this kind of intermediate which is more favored and this can further uh, convert into this resonance form this uh, the representation of this resonance structure shown here and if you try to remember the electrophilic substitution where you used to have so first charge carbocation here you have a carbon ion so this is known as meissenheimer complex so the first step the nucleophile attacks the carbon bearing the leaving group this is a leaving group and gives a resonance stabilized carbon ion you have this uh, intermediate this is a slow step once you form this one now the leaving group can depart to restore the aromaticity of the ring so now you can leave and you will be able to get this uh, substituted compound so in the case of electrophilic substitution uh, reaction you will lose uh, proton the base can remove the proton you can get the uh, aromatic system but in this case and the leaving group departs and you can end up with this you can recover the aromaticity so it also involves two reactions as we have seen the aromatic electrophilic substitution first addition reaction is generated the carbon ion which is stabilized by the resonance which is stabilized by delocalization the once you form this one then the leaving group can depart to restore the aromaticity of uh, the compound in this way you can uh, introduce a nucleophile so first addition reaction involves the slow step then the elimination this is a fast step as we have seen the case of aromatic electrophilic substitution there are also addition elimination reaction involved here also addition elimination reaction but is opposite where the benzene ring acts a nucleophile it undergoes reaction with the electrophile it generate the carbocation here the benzene ring acts as a electrophile and the nucleophile undergoes addition so you generate the carbon ion intermediate and then it loses uh, the leaving group you can get the aromatic system and the substitution takes place at the ipso carbon wherever you have the leaving group where the nucleophile undergoes addition reaction and then once then the leaving group departs from there and it operates only with the substrate having strong electron withdrawing group such as nitro cyano and sulfone so whenever you have the strong electron withdrawing group then only the reaction can be facilitated so always the reaction takes place at the ortho or para position if you have the electron withdrawing group if you have the electron donating group the reaction is not facilitated if you try to remember the case of aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction if you have the benzene ring and if you have the toluene this shows 25 times greater reactivity comparing to benzene if you have the electron donating group the reaction is facilitated in the case of aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction however in the case of aromatic nucleophilic substitution and you should have the electron withdrawing group so then only the reaction can be facilitated you should not have electron donating group and also if you try to remember in the case of aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction and if you have the donating group the reaction can be facilitated ortho and para position similarly here also we have electron withdrawing group the reaction takes place usually the nucleophile attacks ortho or para position so this can be easily understood uh, if you uh, try to draw the resonance structure and if the for example if the reaction takes place you have the nitro benzene so let us have a cl at para position so when you react this substrate with nucleophile if the reaction takes place the ipso carbon then you will be able to have
this carbon ion which can be stabilized by the resonance structure which can be stabilized by delocalization So, this most stable one So, you will have the following uh, resonance structure. So, if you look at this one, this is the most stable uh, one. So, therefore, the reaction can be facilitated and the other hand you can write similarly for the, the reaction takes place the ortho position also. On the other hand, the reaction takes place at meta position. So, these are the possible resonance structures. Suppose, if you have the chloro substituent meta position, if you carry out the nuclear substitution which can undergo reaction here, the ipso carbon, then you will be able to have the following resonance structure. If you look at here, if you compare this resonance structure with this, here you have this intermediate where you can see this structure has a carbon where you have the negative charge is bonded with the nitro group, this is more stable you do not have this kind of resonance structure under this condition. Therefore, whenever you have the uh, substituent uh, leaving group at ortho or para position, the reaction is facilitated and if you have the meta position, the reaction is not favored in the case of aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. Uh, so, we will see some more example. So, here you have to remember 
the reaction operates only with the substrates have strong electron withdrawing group in ortho or para position to the leaving group. So, you have the leaving group, this is the leaving group, the leaving group with respect to leaving group if you have the electron withdrawing group at ortho or para position then only the reaction can be facilitated. If it has, we have the electron withdrawing group at meta position the reaction is not favored and this can be understood by drawing the possible uh, resonance structure after the uh, reaction you can see here when you, the reaction takes place in para position you can have this uh, resonance structure which is more stable, but you do not have this kind of resonance structure when you carry out the reaction in the case of meta substituted substrate and therefore, the reaction is favored. The, so, you can see here if the substrate has strong electron withdrawing group in ortho and para position then only the reaction can be facilitated in the case of aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. Here some examples are shown and the first one involves you have the leaving group at the ortho position this is the nucleophile uh, which can undergo reaction and you will be able to get uh, this uh, substituted nitrobenzene as the product you can see here the reaction takes place at the ortho position and C L is the leaving group you can get this uh, substituted nitrobenzene as the product. If you look at here you have the para position fluorine which also can undergo as just we have seen reaction with this secondary amine cyclic amine. So, can give this substituted compound as the product. If you look at here the reaction you have to carry out under high temperature for long reaction time to get uh, the product in reasonable yield. Some more examples are shown in this slide as you can see here the previous slide we have seen the substrate having nitro uh, group which acts as electron withdrawing group. Uh, the substitution reaction takes place at uh, ortho as well as para position. Here you have the carbonyl group. When you carry out this uh, 4 fluoroastrophenone and with this uh, dimethyl amine under heating it can undergo substitution reaction as we have seen this is the leaving group and in this way you will be able to get this amino derivative as a product. The another example you can see here, here the reaction of this uh, aromatic system having uh, nitro as well as cyano substituent shown with the methoxy group it can undergo reaction. Here the nitro group acts as a leaving group it undergoes substitution reaction you can get this product. So far if you remember here you make a carbon oxygen bond here carbon hydrogen bond and if you try to see the previous case also you make carbon hydrogen bond, but here in this reaction uh, you make carbon carbon bond. You can see here when you try to react with this active methylene compound with the base you can generate the carbon ion which can act as a nucleophile which can readily undergo reaction with this uh, aromatic system where you have the two nitro substituent this is the leaving group. See if you look at here this is with respect to this nitro group para with respect to this one is an ortho position is activated. Now, this can readily undergo reaction in the presence of base you can deprotonate this carbon ion can undergo substitution reaction you can get this compound as a product. Here are some more examples are shown this first one involves again the 4 chloronitrobenzene which can be readily reacted with the phenol here in the presence of base you can generate this uh, phenoxide uh, which acts as a nucleophile which can undergo. So, substitution uh, the since uh, you have the nitro group at para position you can get this ether as the product. Here this enamine can readily undergo reaction here this is also very activated compound. If you look at this uh, leaving group it is para to this nitro group ortho uh, to this nitro group and this activated aromatic system which also can readily undergo reaction to give once if you have this substitution when you do the workup you will be able to get the carbonyl compound in this way you can make a carbon carbon bond formation. So, far we have seen some examples for the uh, nucleophilic substitution if you look at all these reactions they have electron withdrawing group. This electron withdrawing group is present para or ortho to the leaving group. So, in that case you can try to react with the nucleophile under vigorous reaction conditions you can try to introduce the nucleophile via ipso substitution at the ipso carbon to give the product. Now, let us look at uh, the reactions of uh, unactivated aromatic systems. For example, now let us look at the chlorobenzene and this 
uh, substrate does not undergo reaction as just we have seen. If you have the strong electron withdrawing group like nitro group and if that aromatic system has a leaving group, you can carry out the reaction with the nucleophile, you can get the introduce the nucleophile, you can get this uh, substituted compound. On the other hand, for example, chlorobenzene is does not react under this condition, so how can you carry out the reaction. So, when you have the chlorobenzene, when you try to react uh, with the soda amide strong base in liquid ammonia and you will be able to form benzene as a product. So, in this case what happens, this soda amide acts as a base, it will deprotonate this proton, then you generate benzene as an intermediate, once you form this one, it is very reactive. This can now undergo reaction with the nucleophile and you can get this uh, addition product. So, if you the previous case you look at it, you do addition followed by elimination, you can get the substituted compound. Here first you do the elimination, you get the benzene. Once you form this one, it is very reactive. Now, you can try to react with the nucleophile, you can get this substituted compound. So, you do here elimination followed by addition. But here if the symmetrical one you can see here and once you form benzene the nucleophile can react this carbon or this carbon in 1 is to 1 ratio you can get a mixture of a substituted compound. So, RL halides that have no activating groups can proceed reaction with a strong base to give benzene which is more reactive which can readily undergo reaction with the nucleophile. But if for example, here the chlorobenzene when you react with the soda amide at low temperature, the liquid ammonia you can try to generate the benzene which, which can readily react with the nucleophile to give this addition product. Here the mechanism is shown here. Now, let us look at here when you carry out the reaction with the labeled carbon here you have the Cl is present here. So, when you uh, react with the potassium amide here. Uh, so, you can deep it is a strong base it can deprotonate this proton. So, you can make the benzene you can once you form this one now the benzene now can very reactive now it can undergo addition either this carbon or that carbon if it undergoes addition here you will be able to get this aniline on the other hand if the reaction takes place here you get this and if this reaction if you look at here when you react chlorobenzene with the uh, KNH2 it gives a 1 is to 1 mixture of anilines which clearly shows that and you form this benzene intermediate once you form this one which can undergo reaction to give you a mixture of compound. This clearly shows that the reaction takes place via benzene intermediate not by substitution reaction as just we have seen the earlier case where if you have the electron withdrawing group, if you have the good leaving group the nucleophile undergoes a reaction to the carbon where you have the leaving group. In particular, if you have the electron withdrawing group para and or ortho position or with respect to the leaving group, the substitution reaction can take place. Here uh, some of the examples shown here, these are the uh, precursor we use for the preparation of benzene. Uh, for example, here uh, dibromobenzene is used and here you have diadobenzene, here you have the 2 fluorobenzene you have here. In this case, you have here iodobenzene having triflate, here you have the bromobenzene having tocyl group and this is uh, you have the uh, disonium salt. These are the some of the example here triosol and the here again you have the uh, silyl ether having uh, triflate. These are the some of the precursor commonly used to make benzene and the mild reaction conditions so that which can be further reacted with the nucleophile to give the desired compounds. The first example involves the reaction of uh, anthelic acid to give uh, disonium salt. Once you form the salt which is readily undergoes elimination to give benzene as intermediate. Once you form the benzene uh, which can be further reacted with the nucleophile to give the addition product. As already we have seen the earlier class if you have the HNO2. So, when you the presence of acid. So, this can now lose water molecule you will have nitrosonium ion 
once if you have this one, this can readily react with the amine. For example, if you have aniline, it can react, you lose proton. So you will have So this can convert into when you add acid so this you can try to write loose proton So when you, since you carry out the reaction acidic medium, so in this way you'll be able to form diazonium salt. So once you form this salt, uh, this can readily undergo loose nitrogen as well as CO2. You'll be able to form benzene centrimediate. This is one of the uh, common method used if you want to make this reaction you have to carry out already we have seen at uh, a low temperature uh, to form this uh, diazonium salt once you form this one which can be readily converted into benzene and this can now readily can react with nucleophile to give the addition product. This one triazole and triazole can be in the presence of oxidizing agent can be oxidized to benzene where you lose two molecule of uh, nitrogen. This uh, also can be readily uh, converted into benzene by oxidation the presence of uh, lead tetrastate. The other example is uh, the when you have this heterocycle which when you heat it also can readily lose nitrogen as well as sulfur dioxide you will be able to make uh, benzene. These are the common substrates we use to make uh, benzene. The, this example when you react with for example lithium amalgam, so now it can readily react, you will be able to form this intermediate which can lose lithium fluoride, you will be able to form benzene uh, intermediate. There are several methods are known, so you can make this also one of the common method you can as mild reaction conditions you can make benzene as uh, intermediate. So just we have seen some of the methods how you can make benzene. First we have seen the anthelic acid, if you have that one you can convert into diazonium salt which can readily lose carbon dioxide and nitrogen you can get the benzene. Then we have seen the amino benzotriazole that in the presence of oxygen agent can be converted into benzene by losing uh, nitrogen. So then we also have seen uh, two more example and you can try to readily if you have the heterocyclic moiety having sulfone as well as Azo uh, substrate which can lose nitrogen as well as uh, sulfur dioxide, you can get benzene. Then another example we have seen if you have the dihalo substrate when you react with the lithium amalgam, it can uh, convert into benzene. Now let us look at the reaction of uh, benzene which is widely used in organic synthesis to make a uh, variety of uh, structural scaffolds. Uh, the first example as you can see here, so if you do not have the nucleophile in our system the benzene can readily undergo reaction you can get uh, biphenylene as the product. On the other hand suppose if you have the diene this diene can undergo 4 plus 2 cycle addition reaction it is a very reactive species it can readily undergo 4 plus 2 cycle addition reaction you can get this uh, tricyclic compound. Once if you have this one this can be further converted for example if you do hydrogenation followed by acid workup and removal of water and you will be able to get naphthalene as a product. So if you have the benzene, if you have the furon it which can un readily undergo uh, 4 plus 2 cycle addition reaction 
and you will be able to get this uh, tricyclic compound. When you uh, try to react, when you do the hydrogenation using palladium catalyst followed by acid workup and you can lose water molecule, you can get this uh, naphthalene as a product. This is one of the method used to prepare naphthalene. If you have this uh, benzene, you can try to react with uh, furon, you can get this uh, tricyclic derivative which can be readily converted into naphthalene by in the presence of palladium hydrogen uh, using hydrogenation using palladium catalyst followed by acid workup. Here also the cycle addition reaction shown here, just we have seen 4 plus 2 cycle addition reaction. Similarly, this substrate also, if you have benzene, when you react with the andrazine and this can undergo reaction, a 4 plus 2 cycle addition reaction, you will be able to get this compound. And here also another example for the cycle addition reaction, uh, so it can readily undergo a reaction here. So, you will be able to get this uh, tricyclic derivative which can lose carbon monoxide uh, readily, you can get this uh, substituted naphthalene as a product. So far we have seen uh, how you can use benzene as excellent dienophile, if you have the diene the reaction medium which can undergo readily the cycloaddition reaction, you can get uh, useful aromatic compounds. Here so far we have seen how you can make benzene, what are the substrate are commonly used to prepare the benzene. Then we have seen uh, some of the uh, reactions of benzene and now let us look at the regioselectivity in the case of benzene. Now you have the this uh, 2 bromonisole. Once we have this one, when you react with the sodamide in liquid ammonia at negative temperature and you whenever you have this uh, electron donating group and in this case of uh, 2 bromonisole, the amination takes place at the meta position. So, this can be easily understood. Yes, whenever you react with the soda amide liquid ammonia with uh, 2 bromonisole, you form the benzene as we just we have seen, and you can deprotonate and then you form uh, this benzene. Once you form the benzene, now this NH2 can react here or there. For example, if it reacts the this position and you generate the carbon ion, this carbon ion is stabilized by the I effect. If you look at here oxygen is electronegative nature, it can stabilize this by inductive effect. So, on the other hand, uh, if the nucleophile undergoes addition reaction here, you will be able to generate carbon ion which cannot be stabilized by the uh, methoxy group. Uh, therefore, and in the case of uh, 2 bromonisole and when you do the reaction with the soda amide, liquid ammonia, always the amination takes place and meta position not uh, in the ortho position. This is because if you if it happens, if you form this carbon ion which can be stabilized by this methoxy group by inductive effect. On the other hand, if you form this one, it cannot be stabilized you produce unstabilized carbon ion. Therefore, you observe this as the only product in this uh, reaction. This is a good example for the effect of substituent in the reaction of uh, benzene with the nucleophile. Here some more examples are shown. Now, let us look at uh, this 2 chlorotoluene substrate. Just we have seen where you have the oxygen which is electronegative and here this can only donate electron, it cannot uh, take electron, this is a plus, it has a plus I effect. And in this case, when you react with the soda amide in liquid ammonia and you will be able to get a mixture of compound. The amination takes place at meta as well as an ortho position, you can get a mixture of uh, this uh, compound. And uh, similarly, not only ortho chlorotoluene, para chlorotoluene also can undergo reaction similar way and when you react with the soda amide and you can try to, if you deprotonate this one and you will be able to form this benzene. And this benzene as just we have seen, now it can undergo reaction meta as well as and para position. Therefore, you will be end up with a mixture of compound. Therefore, if you have to try to remember and in the case, this is because of uh, I effect. So, the reaction can be If you have the methyl group, 
and you will be able to get a mixture of compound whether if you have the substituent and ortho or para position you will be able to form respective benzynes. Once you form this one this can undergo reaction as we have seen and you can get a mixture of compounds. Now, let us look at some more examples and now let us take the bromobenzene and this when you react with soda amide liquid ammonia you will be able to form the benzene. Once you form the benzene now you have this acidic proton you can deprotonate this proton you can make this carbon ion once which can act as a nucleophile now it can readily undergo reaction with this uh, benzene since you do not have a substituent here no problem it can undergo reaction you will be able to get the substituted compound you make a carbon carbon bond and similarly in the case uh, in the bromobenzene when you react with the soda amide you will be able to form the benzene once you form the benzene this anion undergoes reaction. So, you have this one once you form this carbon ion which can uh, take proton from the ammonia you can get uh, this alkylated benzene as the product. Here an example shown the reaction of bromobenzene with uh, potassium tertiary butoxide uh, this which acts as a nucleophile and as we have seen earlier this also can now which can access a base first you can convert into bromobenzene into benzene. Once you form this one now it can react further it, then you will be able to form uh, you can try to introduce the tertiary butoxy group you can make this ether and where you generate the carbon oxygen bond. The next example involves you can see here and you have here so electron withdrawing group you see you have the chlorobenzene where you have the trifluoromethyl substituent when you react this substrate with the soda amide under the same reaction conditions you can deprotonate this proton then you can form this benzene in this case once you form this benzene this can undergo addition reaction here and you will be able to get the amination at the meta position. So, this is another example. So, if you have the for example, here as just we have seen there are two possibilities there if it happens here then you will be able to as we have seen the case of bromo anisole and if the amination takes place here and you will have the anion which can be stabilized by the effect. If the reaction takes place here you have this anion which is a unstabilized carbon ion therefore, uh, when you have this uh, electron withdrawing group here and due to minus I have effect and uh, this formation of this product is favored comparing to this one this is because of the stability of uh, the carbon ion when the amine adds here and you generate the carbon ion here which can be stabilized by the I effect of uh, this substituent. Uh, which does not happen if you have the carbon ion here and therefore, the formation of this product is selectively observed under these reaction conditions. So, another example shown here uh, so far we have seen uh, intermolecular reactions now let us look at for some examples for the intramolecular reaction as we have seen again you can react with uh, this amide now you have the uh, acidic proton here and this can deprotonate this proton then you can have the carbon ion which can be stabilized by the uh, nitrile functional group. At the same time you can also have can deprotonate uh, this one you can form a uh, benzene and you will have this intermediate once if you have this one it can undergo cyclization and in this way you will be able to form the uh, bicyclic system what you do here you make a carbon carbon bond you make a new four membered cyclic system then you get this uh, bicyclic uh, compound and uh, here uh, the another example shown just we have seen 
deprotonation of this acidic proton can you can have this uh, carbon ion at the same time when you use as base to deprotonate this proton then you can uh, generate the benzene here once you form this one now which can undergo cyclization as you can see here so you can make a six membered ring and here also you make a carbon carbon bond formation in this way you can make a functionalized uh, system and using the benzene intermediate and when, since you carry out the reaction basic conditions and you can make benzene at the same time you can also deprotonate this acidic proton which can undergo cyclization intramolecularly to give this uh, bicyclic systems here the mechanism for the previous reaction shown here just we have discussed as we have seen and you can this amide can act as a base this nh2 minus can deprotonate and you can make the benzene at the same time it can also act as a base can deprotonate you can make this carbon ion which, which can act as a nucleophile which can undergo addition reaction and you get the carbon ion which can take proton from the ammonia you can make this bicyclic system as the product here another example shown here. in this case the reaction of diethyl malonate is shown here with uh, this uh, two bromo anisole and the presence of soda amide in hmba so what at a moderate temperature it undergoes reaction to give this product in this uh, reaction as we have seen there and when you react with the soda amide you can make the benzene once you form the benzene as just we have seen now this can undergo reaction so this also can deprotonate this proton so which can undergo reaction then you will be able to have so which can now react intramolecularly you have the carbon ion which can react here and you will be able to form so you get uh, this as the product once you form this one which has been converted into this bicyclic lactone which is known as melin uh, which is responsible for the bitter taste of carrots you can see here uh, two bromo anisole has been used with uh, diethyl malonate and the presa base you can make the benzene which can readily undergo reaction to give this substituted benzene derivative you do what you do here under these conditions you make a two carbon carbon bond formation once you form this one which has been further reacted to give this uh, bicyclic lactone which is known as melin and uh, just i mentioned which is responsible for the bitterness of carrots the next example involves the reaction of this silyl ether having uh, triplet at the ortho position uh, when you have 
uh, this substrate this can be readily when you use uh, cesium fluoride which can also readily react when you have this one and you will be able to form uh, benzene once you form the benzene now and this since this also can deprotonate this acidic proton you will be able to form the unilate as just we have seen you form the unilate so now this can now readily undergo reaction as we have seen now this can undergo uh, cyclo addition and it will be able to form So, when you do the cycle addition you can get this uh, compound once you form this one now this can open up and you will be able to have a 7 membered system as you can see here. So, which can be protonated. So, you have this compound which has been further converted into this alkaloid which is used to treat neurological problems and so you can see here this uh, so benzene intermediate is widely used to make a complex molecule as you can see here this can be easily made from the substrate once you form this one it undergoes cycle addition you have to give this uh, tricyclic compound. Once you form this one, this can be this has been further converted into this alkaloid, which is very useful compound in medicinal chemistry. The next example is the involves the reaction of uh, quinoline derivatives. When you have this uh, compound, as just we have seen, when you react with the soda amide liquid ammonia at a negative temperature, you can make benzene. So, this also undergo uh, deprotonation you have this you have this benzene intermediate. So, which can act as a nucleophile which can undergo intramolecular cyclization you can see here you can make this uh, tetracyclic compound what you do here where you make a new carbon nitrogen bond between this nitrogen and the benzene you can make this compound which uh, when you react with uh, methyl iodide you can make the salt this also very important alkaloid you can uh, see in this way and this quinoline based alkaloid can be readily reacted and if you have this substrate we can you can make uh, with the base or amide you can make the benzene so it can undergo cyclization you can make this alkaloid as the product as you can see here this this reaction find wide applications in organic synthesis to make complex molecules. In summary today we have started the aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. First we have seen the principles of aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. Benzene since nucleophilic in nature it does not undergo reaction normal conditions with the nucleophile. However, if it has a electron withdrawing group, if it has a good leaving group if the leaving group is present at para or ortho position with respect to the electron withdrawing group, you can try to react with the nucleophile and you can get the substituted compound. First 
addition followed by elimination you get the nucleophilic substitution product. However, this reaction as we have seen is limited. You should have strong electron withdrawing group. The leaving group also should be present at ortho or para position then only the reaction can be facilitated. However, the reaction if you look at here if you compare that with the aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction you have to carry out the reaction under horse reaction conditions. Then we have seen uh, the reaction of unactivated aryl halides and which when you react with a strong base like sodamide you can try to form a benzene intermediate. Once you form this very reactive which can readily undergo addition reaction with the nucleophile and which you can end up with a carbon ion which can be protonated in this way. What you do here first you do elimination followed by addition and you can get the substituted compound where we have seen the effect of substituent in the aryl halo substrate and also we have seen some examples the applications of benzene intermediate for the synthesis of complex alkaloids which are very important in medicinal science with this we conclude this lecture thank you very much <music>